Jubilee. Cherry's Jubilee. It's a tasty treat. But what is it? Cherries, and then we jubilize. <laughs> and this is Hildy, who I just met a moment ago, and I have to tell you, Hildy is the most relaxed dog I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Crepuscular rays. Go ahead and say it with me. Crepuscular rays. That's what it's called. It's actually kind of an optical illusion that sun is actually showing some uh, stuff in the atmosphere is what you're seeing. Crepuscular rays. Anyway, on with the forecast. I know there's a lot going on right now, so I'm excited to hear what the Double D David Daniel has to say in this edition of the Hollywood Minute. <laughs> and Lyft is making it easier now to find every transit option inside its app. Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at daytime temps only around 60, so well below normal as far as the temperatures go. All right, happy Friday, friends. It's time to get you all weekend ready. Now, check this out. Uh, tonight and tomorrow at the Florence Event Center, it's the Florence Festival of Books. And this, by the way, is one of my favorite books ever. Weather for Dummies. <laughs> it's in its ninth year. Authors and publishers gathering together. A little tiny shtickle of some precipitation. Just a couple of drizzles. Here's tomorrow at 1 o'clock. A lot of that system up into Corvallis and along the coast. By the time it passes through the I-5 corridor, Eugene and South, it starts to fizzle out. But just a little heads up for you right there. Here's our day planner. Well, it's Wednesday, and that means oh, work, work watch, watch Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't know if you've ever experienced any uh, thing with uh, a temp agency. Uh, they mm -hmm. place you in jobs, temp to hire. This is Ooh. a great route to go. You go into these places, and you say, you know, hey, here's what I'm interested in. Here are my qualifications. Mm -hmm. Boom. Get you working like that. Check this out. If you're looking for a job, Personnel Source is looking for you. It makes searching for a job a little bit easier here at Personnel Source rather than aimlessly sending out resumes. Let's go find out more. Welcome to this week's Workwatch Wednesday. Now, when it comes to waking up in the morning, Kendall, everybody has a different method. You know, maybe it's a cold shower, maybe it's <clears throat> tea, coffee, or it could be Red Bull. What year was Red Bull energy drink created? 1972, 1976, or Kendall for the win, 1980? 1980. Wrong. 1976. <sighs> that is correct. 1976, <laughs> created in Thailand for truck drivers to keep them alert and keep them awake. And now you know. And I'm Greg Tanner. A little bit of a chill in the air. Let's go to the bus stop forecast so we know what to expect for those little kiddos. 53 now in Eugene, 49 Denver, and uh, 84 degrees in Miami. And speaking of Miami, the Super Bowl 2020 is going to be held in Miami. And we know who the halftime entertainment is going to be. It's going to be Jennifer Lopez, and it's going to be Shakira. So that's going to be a great, great show. J-Lo and Shakira, and that's in February. Now if we only knew who the teams would be. <laughs> I'm hoping for the Bears, that's for sure. Rockford, Illinois on your TV screen right now. Hope you're doing well. They have clouds to wake up to. We have a billion stars. It's really a pretty morning. Do you know I actually turned the heat on a little bit this morning on my way in? It's kind of chilly out. Yeah, about 52, 54 degrees right now uh, in the valley. Well, here's our next weather maker. You see the system in the Pacific? That's going to slide on over to the east through Canada, pushing some cooler air our way. How cool? How does next week, uh, Monday, in the upper 50s sound to you? Ooh, that's well below normal. You know, we should be about 74 degrees, and today we'll be right there, 72, 73. And over the weekend, our temperatures drop into the low 60s. I've said it before, cloudy or not, it's pretty. <laughs> I love it. All right, weather-wise today, partly sunny, same as yesterday. Start with the clouds and with the sun. The only difference between yesterday and today uh, will be eh, maybe three, four degrees warmer today. This low pressure system here, this is going to hang mainly up into the north, into Washington, in the Gulf of Alaska. That system, that's what we're looking at for our next weather maker on Friday and through the weekend. And what it will do for us is cool us down. We have cold air coming into Western Oregon. All thanks to this, it's going to drop on down actually late tonight into tomorrow. It's called a continental polar air mass. And boy, is it going to cool us off 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where we should be. In fact, Sunday, Monday, uh, overnight lows into the 30s, which means cover your plants, bring them inside. We do risk some frost Sunday and Monday. North winds today, 15 to 20. He asked me what kind of shoes we wear because they don't get to see him. So 
what kind of shoes? You, you just have tennis shoes on. They're kind you of never tennis get to shoes, see but them. They're, they're nice. I mean, I don't know if I could actually. I know. Can you put it up? up? Look at there it is. These That's are, Greg's uh, shoe. <laughs> I like going back in the day. Today's September 27th, and it's kind of right around the corner, believe it or not. Christmas. We're going to start. We already see those Christmas decorations out at Costco. So I'm yesterday. <laughs> they're all over the place. <laughs> That's aggressive. Santa schools. Now, there's only one Santa in the North Pole. However, some people like to play Santa. There's a Santa school for that in Albion, New York. Kendall, what year did that Santa school open? 1937, 1942, hmm. or 1947? 37. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, two in a row. You're killing it today. 